Welcome back inside the Now Morning Show. Now, Will AIDS Day is the day where millions of people come together globally to commemorate the persons who lost their lives to HIV, as well as applaud the progress made and to recommit to ending the epidemic. We've been celebrating for 35 years now, and this morning, I want to welcome the director of the HIV AIDS Coordinating Unit, Dr. Issa John. She joins us on set to chat a little bit about World AIDS Day and how we're going to commemorate it this year. Good morning, Dr. John. Good morning. Thank you for having us this Not morning. Not a problem. Now, we know the theme for this year is Let Communities Lead. But how are we uh, commemorating this year, and what, is, what does that mean? What does the theme mean, and how do we explore it a little bit? All right, so Let Communities Lead basically means that when they're speaking about communities, they're speaking about the persons who are living with HIV and persons who are made affected by HIV. Um, so by saying let communities lead is letting these persons who know what it's like to live with HIV, who have the history, who have the experience, letting them say, you know, this is what we need. Mm -hmm. This is what is best for us. This is what we want so that we can have, you know, a say in eradicating HIV by 2030. So it's it's about having community-led testing services. It's about having communities who are integrated in, in treatment and care. Mm -hmm. It's about having communities as part of your strategic planning. So the Ministry of Health has been having community-led testing in certain areas. We have also been encouraging communities to attend um, strategic planning meetings, to attend symposiums. They are part of the National AIDS Coordinating Committee. So these are some of the ways that um, the Ministry has been exploring the theme of letting community lead. And going forward, there will be more activities yeah. where we can encourage and empower the communities to have a little bit more say in what is being done. What has been some of the feedback that you get when you when you encourage people to join these conversations? When the community comes together and says, are we going to be at the symposium? Uh, this is what we need. What, what are some of the things that are needed? Well, a lot of the things are around stigma. Mm -hmm. um, and the need to feel safe and to feel comfortable, to feel that they are a valued part of the community, to feel that they can go to a testing and treatment and care site and they can feel um, that they are not stigmatized, that nobody is looking down at them. So that's one of the things that uh, that is very, you know, at the forefront of what the communities want. Mm -hmm. They also, as I said, want to have some more input into testing and into medications and into being able to have prevention services that are more a focus with, towards the community. So these are some of the things. Okay. All right. So we're looking at prevention. We're looking mm -hmm. at better ways to well, to be treated yes. in general, which is kind of human. Everybody wants that. Everybody but uh, particularly that. you don't want that stigma attached. Yes. All right. So how is the ministry getting involved in the celebration? So in terms of this year, the ministry every year, we increase testing services throughout Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. So there increased testing in Northwest Regional. There will be testing at the Woodford Square today. Um, in San Rio Grande, there's testing at the, um, the, the Extra Foods, the car park, nice. there's testing okay. there. So there's testing also in, in Trinidad and Tobago. So we have extra testing sites available throughout Trinidad and Tobago to this. So that's one of the ways that we are celebrating this year. Yeah, and I know particularly there's one happening at Woodford Square this morning from 10 a.m. Yes. to 2 p.m. And that one is absolutely free. Are all the others absolutely free as all well? All testing services throughout Trinidad and Tobago are free throughout the year. So we have over 60 testing sites in mm -hmm. Trinidad and Tobago, and they're all free and accessible to persons in Trinidad. And as well. Um, so traditionally the testing services that we would offer would be testing that are blood-based testing, but we now also offer an oral swab, an oral testing that is accessible at our, tr our treatment and care as well as testing sites. For those persons, so for those persons, well, it's a wary of, you know, blood and mm -hmm. a little wary of the needle, you can go to your testing site and your treatment site and see if the, the oral test is available there. And how long does it take to get back the results from those, the oral Usually tests? it takes about 20 minutes to get the result from the oral test. Okay. Yes. All right. So you can head down to any one of these three sites and you can stick around and get your results on site one time. On site one time within 15 to 20 minutes. Yes. Nice. So this year, as I mentioned earlier, 35 years uh, of commemorating and celebrating World AIDS Day. Mm -hmm. um, so far, how is the ministry working towards the sustainable goal of trying to eradicate HIV globally? Like that's the, the sustainable goal we're all trying to get to. Yes. What is the ministry's role involved in that? All right. So to answer that question, I, I would like to take you along what is called the HIV continuum of care. Mm. Um, so there is prevention and there is treatment. So the things that we need to look at is how can we prevent 
persons who are not living with HIV? How can we prevent those persons from becoming persons who live with HIV? And also, how can we decrease the risk or prevent the transmission of HIV from persons who already live with HIV to those who don't live with HIV? So starting at that level, there's where we have the education. So we have the, like we have in today, education sessions throughout Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. We have um, ramped up our education sessions on social media. So the Ministry of Health does have social media sites, and so we encourage persons to look at those sites where we talk about what HIV is, how you can get HIV, um, where you can access testing. So because pre prevention is all about knowledge mm -hmm. and about empowering people to know how to prevent themselves from getting HIV and how to prevent the transmission of HIV. So education is one of the things. And you're going to see more education coming out. You're going to see billboards. You're going to see start to see more on social media. So education is the first key to prevention. In addition, there are free condoms. We know that condoms are one of the main ways of preventing um, transmission of HIV. So we have free condoms, very good brand, mm -hmm. at all HIV testing and treatment sites. Um, throughout Trinidad and Tobago. Do we also have uh, people showing how to use condoms? Yes, we do. Okay. Yes, so you will have education at each site. Um, there are trained HIV testers who are able, and there are HIV coordinators who are able to teach and to explain how that you use the condoms. Nurses are also able to explain how to use the condoms. So that's available throughout Trinidad and Tobago. We also have the HIV helpline that is done in collaboration with the NAC, the National AIDS Coordinates Committee. And persons can call this helpline, um, it's 800-4-HIV, and you can call this helpline to hear about information about how to prevent yourself from getting HIV. As well as once of somebody you have the education part, now the next step is if somebody gets diagnosed with HIV, we want to prevent death. We want to prevent transmission. We want to prevent um, serious illness. We want that person to live a healthy and happy life. Mm -hmm. And so in order to that, there's free medication available at all treatment and care sites. So persons, you know, the main reason that you had a lot of deaths with HIV in the past is because medication was not accessible. Mm -hmm. And when medication became accessible, it was a cocktail of pills and multiple pills. And, and expensive. And very expensive. And while we do have some persons who still need to take a cocktail of pills, we do the majority of persons only need one single pill that you take once a day and so it, it's it's it has become so much easier for persons to be adherent, yeah. for persons to access care. So we do have free treatment at all HIV treatment and care sites. We have five treatment and care sites in each. We have one in each RHA. So it's accessible to everyone, everyone in Trinidad and Tobago. So that's the and other way. And you can just way. head across to the website to get all the information on yes. the different treatment sites. Yes, so you can head across to our website or any of our social media pages. All right. Yes. Well, uh, Dr. John, before we go, I mean, we, we kind of at the end of the interview here, but mm -hmm. before we go, I just want to give you to give the nation a, mes a message on today being World AIDS Day. What advice would you give to anybody in Trinidad and Tobago who may be HIV positive, maybe they just found out, maybe they found out before, but what advice would you give them? All right, so the advice that we have for you today is don't let your diagnosis make you feel like you're a second-class citizen, and don't make your, let your diagnosis feel that you cannot live life because you can live life just as well as you li you were living life before you were HIV positive. We have treatment available, and with the treatment, you can live, you can travel, you can have children who are HIV negative, you can marry persons who are HIV negative. HIV is not something that should hold you back from life. We are here at the Ministry of Health to, to assist. We have free treatment all throughout Trinidad and Tobago, and we have, we have services that if you are fearful of joining an HIV clinic. We have persons who understand what it is like to live with HIV. We have those persons who are there, they are waiting to help you, to integrate you into the care. We have social workers who are there to help you access social services. We have support in terms of food support for you. We have medication that is free for everyone. And if you have been diagnosed before and have left the clinic or you feel that you cannot join the clinic, we have persons who will be reaching out to you to try to integrate you back into the clinic. So please don't be, you know, um, feel that HIV is the end of your life because certainly it is just a continuation and you can live healthily and happily. So 
happy World AIDS Day to everyone. And we really look forward. We hope that you will take the opportunity to get tested today and get tested frequently. Use your condoms and don't be afraid to share love to someone who has HIV. Definitely. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Dr. John, and for sharing the information and continue the great work that you guys are doing at the HIV AIDS Coordinating Unit. Thank you very much for having us. Not a problem at all. We let communities lead on this World AIDS Day. Don't forget you can head out to Woodford Square this morning at 10 a.m. and get tested absolutely free. There are testing going on all around the country, so you can check out which one is closest to you and be a part of it and make sure that you check yourself on World AIDS Day. We take a quick break and come back with more. Stay tuned.